greetings and unnecessarily loud noises at the beginning of a blurbs video. This is a blurbs video. This is a Justy OAC-10 FD head cleaning disc just in from Japan. Ordered it through Mercari. Hey, look at this. New old stock. It exists. And the thing is, this is a continuation of my trek to figure out what in the heck this was. Look at this thing. DTAC 3.5 inch floppy disc cleaner. <laughs> so we did a video on this on Blurbs a couple weeks ago. Received it on LGR in an unboxing a month ago or something. I don't know. I'll leave this out. And I was really confused because when I looked inside, I was like, oh, there's not a cloth in there like the cleaning discs I'm used to. Where you, you wet them down with a little bit of cleaner. Just looks like data. Here's the other thing that confused me. Was that if I compared it to uh, just a regular floppy disk. To my eye, it looks identical. I don't see any difference in the two materials. And of course, this ran a program with some delightful animation and MIDI music. But in the comments, this, this was the one that really sent me down another rabbit hole here. So check this out. So there is this term right here in Japanese, which pretty much translates to dry head cleaning disc. And yeah, when I Googled that, I found all kinds of images of photos that I wasn't finding on uh, with English Google searches, and they're all listed as dry type head cleaning discs. So I'm like, ah, well that's a whole thing. My guess is maybe it's kind of similar to what the dry VHS cleaner tapes are, or the ones that you put inside of floppy, uh, not floppy, <laughs> cassette tapes uh, that you put in like a cassette deck to sort of clean that. And that just sort of rubs this tape over the heads inside there. Whereas this, like if it's doing the same thing, I would have expected to see something change on the surface here, or just the surface to look a little different than a normal one. Just slightly, maybe, if it's a different material. Uh, but anyway, Amran, thank you very much for putting me onto that term, because it, it was quite revealing just to discover that there's this whole market for dry-type head cleaning discs in Japan that I really have never seen here in the U.S. I did find some documentation in, in uh, North American released TAC floppy drives that did mention that they also had these dry type floppy cleaner discs available for their floppy drives in the late 90s. And they're also mentioned in certain um, sewing machines and the manuals for those and Yamaha audio equipment that uses floppy drives. They say use the dry type disc cleaners. Something I never knew about. Well, now I do. I've got one. Let's open it up and see what in the world it might possibly be. See if it's any different. If it also has software, I don't know. I like the fact that it has the little spots there where you can mark the dates. So whenever you're cleaning it, you can just mark down how many times you've cleaned it. But let's just, here's the moment of truth. Is it going to be cloth or is it going to be data looking? Look at that. Okay, look at that. This is what I expect for a dry type disc. That looks completely different. It looks matte finish, and it's a completely different color. <laughs> well, now I'm feeling not so crazy, because if, if this is a dry type, I just don't think this is doing anything. This will. I imagine, actually physically clean the heads. I mean, it's got to, right? Look at that. That's a night and day difference. It's got a, it's a matte finish. This makes sense. This doesn't. The mystery deepens. Now, this is only one dry type head cleaner disc that I found. I only found one available for sale, you know, that I could get to uh, ship to America anyway. Well, there's a dry type disc. Uh, let's translate a little bit here and see what it says to do. Okay, so, yeah, dry type head cleaning disc. And then this part roughly says, set it like a normal floppy disc, let it access for about 10 seconds. If the access is completed in a few seconds, please repeat it two or three times. Again, that's exactly what you do with a wet type disc. All right, features. Since the cleaning sheet uses an ultra-fine particle coating agent, okay, you can use it with confidence without damaging the head, a dry type that can be easily cleaned. That was another thing people were uh, wondering, was like, is this like demagnetizing anything or doing something weird? I can't imagine how, considering it's just data on there. Um, and again, that's not really something you would do with a cleaning disc. That's something else, so whatever. All right. So this uses an ultra-fine particle coating agent. How to use it? 
da, 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 same stuff. Double click my computer. Disk is not formatted. Do you want to format now? Select no. Remove the cleaner. That's it. You just access the thing. And then the last part. Caution. Do not scratch it. Do not soak or yeah, no water. Avoid direct sunlight. Disk cannot be accessed. Remove it. And, okay. Literally nothing surprising here whatsoever. Well, last thing to do is just test it out. And we'll see if there's any surprises whatsoever. But I'm assuming absolutely nothing. They say that it's going to put up a message saying, oh, it needs to be formatted. So there's not going to be data on here. Windows. All right. IBM ThinkPad 380XD here. Inserting the disk. Now listen to that. You can, you can physically hear that differently as it's sort of scraping up against the head just a little bit, I assume. And there's no data on there. <laughs> so that is uh, what that is, right? I mean, hey, cool. Now let's see if it looks any different whatsoever. Yes, it does. So now, can you see where the head was going across it? Yeah, little stripey bits there and down in there too, just a little bit. So that's definitely scrubbing the head inside the floppy drive. Something this doesn't do. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, I suddenly have a microphone. <laughs> Sorry about that. The entire first bit of the video there, I just didn't have it completely plugged in. It was like partially in there and I didn't realize that it wasn't picking up. So apologies for the audio quality. Anyway, so yeah, this is a, a slight addition to this blurb. I did have a blurbs about this whole topic uploaded and I took it down real quick because I saw that there were just too many questions people were having in the comments that were just the same thing over and over and over. It was going to drive me nuts. So let's try to answer some of those questions, or at least uh, just reiterate what I said in there and maybe wasn't quite as clear as I could have been, especially since not everyone has seen the, the first uh, video where I was talking about this. So yeah, this is that TAC 3.5 inch floppy disk cleaner that is just a program or a set of programs for DOS, Windows, and PC-98 systems, actually. And there's a lot more files than what you're gonna see here, but these are just the ones that are unhidden. And as for the instructions, here they are once again. I showed this in the other video, but it's worth looking at. You just insert it, you change to the drive that you need to do. So if you're at the A drive, you go to the B drive or whatever, that's just an example. Basically, you just want it to be selected at the right thing at the prompt. You type in the thing for your system. Program automatically set up and cleaning starts. And then you take out the disk after the program came to an end. Repeat the procedure if you need to clean other drives. This is important because a lot of folks were wondering if, uh, is this made for dual floppy systems where you insert the A drive here and then you, you have this the dry one in the B drive, and then this is what's physically cleaning the other drive. Uh, well, no, it doesn't do that. It, I had it actually in a dual floppy drive system in the previous video. So whenever you run this, this program, the TAC one, whatever drive it's inserted into, that's what it's reading from, and that's it. it. Doesn't access the other ones at all. And in fact, in this one, if I run it, I must run the Windows executable. It doesn't ask if you have a B drive or anything. This one doesn't even have a B drive. This is a ThinkPad, so. <laughs> yeah. It just loads it. And the other question people asked was, okay, well maybe once it gets going here, you're supposed to uh, take out the disk and then swap in this one. And then that's going to be how it works. Nope. It just errors out the program. It needs to have this disk in there the whole time. There's no swapping out anything. And I've tried swapping it out several times in several different positions. So now head cleaning starts. Okay, maybe now you're supposed to swap it. Nope. <laughs> it's constantly loading data from the floppy disk. And there is no head cleaner part on this floppy disk. 
So I really don't think this is meant to be swapping out for anything. Like you're not supposed to take this TAC one out of there. And once you get to this point, maybe now you can swap it. People were asking. It doesn't matter because at this point, it's actually not loading anything. It's already got the graphics in there. It, it makes some noise at the floppy drive here when you get to a, a certain section, but all this stuff, that's just an animation playing out. And once again, you're gonna get an error because it still needs... So hopefully that satiates those who were saying, oh, you're supposed to swap this one out for a real cleaner. And it doesn't work. Wish it did. That was a good idea, actually. I thought, oh, okay, well maybe, maybe it just didn't say to do that in the instructions, but now it says cleaning is over. Take out the head cleaner from the drive. Now you can take it out and it closes properly. Now the other final question really was, do you run this off of a hard disk, for instance? And maybe if you run this from a hard drive, you can just have this, a real cleaning diskette, in the floppy drive. Maybe then it'll work. Well, let's run uh, same thing. So I have everything copied over to the hard disk. <laughs> you get the exact same thing. And it's not going to load anything from the floppy drive. It's not even looking. It's not accessing it whatsoever. And I've tried this several times now. I've restarted Windows, gone into just pure DOS mode. I tried it on the other system, the Mega Lumina Monster. Same exact results. Running it in DOSBox gets the same results even. It will not access the floppy drive if you run the program from the hard drive. And again, if you run it from a second floppy drive, it won't access the other floppy drive. I think that's most of the bases covered at this point. It's just an animation and set of sound files. You know, got some MIDI for each of the different Four Seasons songs. Um, that's what you get. So if you would um, like to check this out yourself, there is a link in the video description of the previous video where you can get an image of the data from this. And as for this one, I mean, yeah, it's a legit cleaning disc. It's not doing anything crazy. Honestly, I've had some really good results with the cloth ones where you, you know, the wet type discs. And so with those, it has a little bit of liquid in there, like an alcohol-based thing. This doesn't have that, but it does rub up against the, uh, the floppy head there. I don't have like a crappy floppy drive I can try this on. Or else I would, you know, something that isn't reading anything. But the fact that it's actually leaving physical marks in the uh, the disc part is promising. I would assume that this probably works, or at least it does something more than this one. <laughs> That's all I can guess, is that it's doing something more than this one, or else these wouldn't be so popular. There are tons of these on Mercari and Yahoo Auctions and Amazon Japan, or at least there were listings of them that have sold... Um, I was only able to find the one for this video. But this one, the TAC thing, I still, I don't really know. I don't know if it was bundled with something, if it was sold separately, if it's complete snake oil, if it's a total joke, is it a gag gift? Don't know. In fact, if you had a dirty, non-working floppy disk uh, drive, then you're not gonna be able to read this. So I think that is it for the saga of the head cleaning disks from Japan. This one's real, this one's just silly. If you know of any other interesting floppy disk cleaners from Japan, let me know. In fact, I actually saw one. It was a dry type floppy cleaning disk. That's a five and a quarter inch. I thought that was pretty cool. That'd be fun to get. It'd be an interesting collectible. Uh, that is it for this blurb. Second upload edition. Thank you very much for watching because, uh, man, this has been a blurby blurb.